Uh oh, what do we got here? <laughs> so, we got some Series 8 content where what I basically did on this team is I just took Marowak off my Trick Room team and put on Necrozma because Necrozma is going to be one of the best actually Trick Room users if you have a uh, completely low uh, stats uh, nature. You know, it can have like 145 or like 147. So it's not like great in Trick Room, but it's like second best, you know, compared to like Ice Horse. And, um, yeah, you know, we're just going to see what we can make happen. I actually tried a version of this team with, um, with Togekis that went fairly well. Here is the rental code if you want to try the team. And, uh, you know. Torkoal with the Assault Vest is kind of blah because it doesn't have Protect, but I do like it. Um, Life Orb Vicvolt, can't forget that. Uh, Weakness Policy Glastrier doesn't get as much use, but it does at the same time, depending on how you use it. Um, I like Wigglytuff more than Togekiss because it can be really annoying for it to intimidate users. Um, so there's that. Um, Slowbro, great. Um, and Necrozma has Cosmic Power, Morning Sun, Psychic Fangs to break a, um, Screens, and Sunsteel Strike, and Leftovers. So, you know, the, the more that someone avoids the Necrozma, the worse it can be. Um, as you can see, we have a Kyogre team. Which... I basically knew exactly what I wanted to do. It's just that it also requires playing well, doesn't it? <laughs> what I do? So we're gonna max lightning the Kyogre, um, and they're gonna take me down to low health, let's be honest. Like, it's gonna screw me over a little, but this is gonna be good. Take that. Okay, so right there, got the momentum going in a way that's gonna help me win. But now I'm gonna make a losing play. And the real losing play that I made is deciding not to target Urshifu this turn. I actually, if I had taken out Urshifu this turn, I might have won. Um, but I didn't really realize the crappy position I was putting myself in by not doing that. Yeah, so now I'm in another Sucker Punch range, and if I had taken out Urshifu that turn, um, it would it's like, sure, I wouldn't have gotten damage on Whimsicott, but they would have had their last Pokemon out, I would have been able to use a Dynamax move on that Pokemon and get big damage on them. So, yeah, I mean, I really just, like... It's kind of like I ruined my chance to do a lot of good damage on their 
Dynamax Pokemon before it can do anything. Uh, cause they're not gonna Dynamax Urshifu, they're gonna Sucker Punch and take out Pickleball. I honestly might have gotten more. I might have gotten more if I had hard switched out Vickable that turn. That's an interesting thought. Yeah, so this is the problem. It's like... <sighs> Necrozma's gonna have to work really hard to do enough damage. And actually, like, what I should have done that I didn't think about is I should have like well I just thought that the cosmic power would be better to go for um but I have trick room up right so if I had actually gone for sun steel strike twice in a row I might have won which is a little aggravating let's be honest did a lot. And my tailwind petered out. So that's not great. Or no, their tailwind petered out. So I'm still in, we're still in trick room. So that actually, yeah, I should have, I should have done the max, uh, the sun, or the sun. Ooh, I actually didn't even have a good move to use. That's tough. So hard switching out Torkoal would have been my move um, if I had hard switched out Vickabolt, but obviously if I had taken out Urshifu, this would have, like, you can already see, like, how if I had got rid of Urshifu that turn, they would have brought out Kingdra. I could have maxed Flutterbeam to reduce their special attack, um, and they'd be in a really bad position, so... Nothing I can do. I mean, what else was I going to do? It's just, it's over. So we'll, we'll let that crappy game be, uh, and we'll see what happens in this next one. <laughs> It feels like I always put like the win is like, or I mean the loss is like the first video. Um, but it's really just the order that I play the matches in that I, that I show them. So, you got me, bud, I guess, I, I guess, is that what they call? <laughs> Alright, so we've got a Calyrex team. And we're gonna do Wigglytuff Slowbro.
Well, I mean... Calyrex can't use, um, Spectral, whatever, on, um, Wigglytuff, and they don't even send it out, so. So what I actually thought about, like, hey, yeah, I can use Trick Room. Um, I thought about using Dazzling Gleam, and then I used Hyper Voice, and then right after I did it, I was like, oh, they might just switch out and put Spectre in. Should've used Dazzling Gleam, but nope. What did they use to follow me? Like, they literally did that just to set the terrain up. Oh, we could have had... Oh, well, that was a crit. Okay. And they're not gonna get a knockout this turn with that Astral Barrage. So, that's nice. We get to do more damage. Uh... <laughs> no controller. Bad controller. Um... We get to do more damage. And Calyrex isn't in a great position. Uh, it's probably going to get a double knockout, though. If I had used Dazzling Gleam the first turn... They would actually be probably knocked out after this. Yeah, they, would, they wouldn't even be on the field. But... We did whittle them down quite a bit. So I decided actually, um, not to Dynamax this turn. Because I really don't have to, honestly, like. And their team is really bad against these people that I have. Like, they have Indeedee in the back, so I definitely need to use Bug Buzz. Um, and then Kartana. Um. Incineroar. Well, you gotta either switch out or get bipped. I mean, you got only got one choice. Maybe they were trying to see who I was gonna Dynamax. Might just yeah, that was a bad play for them because now we're just gonna take out Indeedy right now. Gone. Well, I don't know, that was gonna happen anyways. Yeah, so that I guess they just wanted to conserve that like that wasn't a terrible play, it just kinda looked weird.
No. What I have to do is Dynamax Torkoal. Have they Dynamaxed? They haven't Dynamaxed yet, but they're gonna Dynamax Kartana, let's be honest. I was afraid that they might G Max protect. Didn't do what you need. Neither will this. Nope, 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 nope. They probably were not hoping that I was gonna Dynamax. <laughs> Alright. Well, Vicavolt's quicker, so Vicavolt's gonna take out Calyrex. There you go. So, you can't lose them all. <laughs> I made a really stupid play in a game today and I lost and I was like, ah, ah, ah. Cause I wanted to win. All right, this is not a team that you'll be allowed to use, but we're gonna beat it anyways. Because that's what you do to people who play, use teams like this. I had Life Orb right at this point instead of Leftovers on Necrozma. And that meant that I had to give Choice Specs to Vickable. Which actually makes it pretty beastly, but... You know. So, I was actually afraid they might try to put me to sleep. Like, clearly they're gonna want to Rage Powder so that they can try to avoid damage. Um, but in the off chance that they do try to put me to sleep, I do need to ally switch. So, whatever, whatever. Fine. And like the thing is about this team is like I actually feel a lot better about it sometimes when I'm not bringing Soul Galeo because it's just like I don't know man feels garbage sometimes like if I can get the setup with cosmic power like it becomes unstoppable but and you know we'll see that in future matches like, if the setup works, the setup works. But, like, a lot of the times I feel like I'm bringing a, a more powerful setup when I don't bring it, so. Um, sorry Xerneas, not enough. And then they send out their Venusaur. Like, you need to either Dynamax that Venusaur, 
or you need to protect it because the exact same thing that just happened to your Amoongus is coming its way. <laughs> Okay. This, yeah, it's like almost literally the exact same thing just happened. Did they feel like it was worth sacrificing their Venusaur? Like, this is another one of those situations where I'm like, what do they have in the back that they felt like that was worth sacrificing? I have Vicavolt and Blastrier. This is going to be interesting. Um, especially because they only have defense or special defense boosts. So, oh, Urshifu. Water Urshifu. So, I might need to double target Urshi. Double target Urshifu. Go for a defense, a special defense boost though with the Max Quake. It's risky because they might detect Urshifu. Like if they were playing smart, they would know that they need to be stalling out my Trick Room with whatever protects they have. If they don't have protect, they're screwing themselves, kinda. Which I know I don't use protect a lot of the time, but like. I have it on some people. How are they going to come back from that? That didn't do nothing. Um, they're certainly not going to be able to do enough, though. Um, and we'll actually see Solgaleo get some more use in my video that I'm posting later today. Uh, we just... I don't know. Wasn't really feeling it in these matches. So, I mean, let's be honest, Trick Room is going to be one of the best things in this new meta, like, because of how ridiculously OP all these new legendaries are not in Trick Room. So, like, you know, being able to, to get rid of a Kyogre, great. Being able to be in Trick Room, also great. Here's the team if you want it again. And, um, yeah, you know, let's see if we can get some better usage out of Solgaleo in the next one. So, Solgaleo Necrozma, so... Tchau,